<laughs> so we are gonna dive right in. to your basic stance, let's spread out through our toes. <laughs> let's bend through our knees. Tuck your hips under into neutral. Let's lift your rib cage. Bring the shoulders forwards and up, back and down. Slide the shoulder blades together, bring them down your back. Alignment throughout. <laughs> Your spine, crown of the head to the sky, tailbone to the ground, deep breath here. And as you breathe out, let your shoulders drop, let any tension just melt away. I've got a little bit of the giggles going on now. <laughs> deep breath here. As you breathe out, Breathing life into fingertips and all the way down to the tips of toes. Let's take a moment to feel that connection that we have with the earth. You can lift through one heel and then the other. Lifting and lowering. The same time as that you could bring perhaps a gentle figure of eight movement. So let me talk to you about what we're going to be enjoying this term in this class. We're going to enjoy building on our repertoire of shimmies. We're going to enjoy combinations of choreography and building them up into choreography piece, a dance that you can enjoy dancing in your own time. We can enjoy dancing together in community. Let's start to feel that movement flow all the way through arms, wrists and hands. We're gonna enjoy dancing with props. Things like veils. I thought we might look at single veil. Perhaps some double veil. We'll say maybe with two for this term. But in future terms, we might actually add even more, just because we can. <laughs> Let's take that movement into circular motion through the wrist, really flex through there, get those wrists moving, the fingertips. Continue that movement onwards. Let's start to feel into what feels nice for you right now in this moment. Take a deep breath. As you breathe out, we're gonna slide the hip one side then the other. We're gonna continue on our learning in terms of musicality. and improvising alongside live music. Wow! Wouldn't that be fun? Oh. Let me know what some of the things are that you would really like to focus in on yourself. Do you have specific aims for your dancing in this course of classes or in a future course of classes with us? What do you really enjoy about the art form? What would you like to do more of? What could you really build on and grow if we focus on? Let's bring that into a circle. Bring the hip out to the side. Bring it back out to the side. Bring it forwards. So in this session, I thought we would enjoy coming back into movement. really dancing it out but also we're gonna start 
that choreography journey. Wow! Would you like to do that? Bring your hands on your hips. Into center, we're gonna bring that movement now. Instead of being horizontal, parallel with the floor, we're gonna drop through the hip, one side, then the other, bringing it down horizontally, uh, sorry, vertically, I mean, I mean to say. <laughs> so the hip comes down one side, then the other. Drop, two, three, four. We can make that movement a little bit faster now. Just really warming up through knees. My headband is like traveling and escaping, covering my entire head. <laughs> Here we go. that feel oh so good oh here's the headband doing its thing again <laughs> let's enjoy a figure of eight on a single hip so we're gonna bring the hip up and over bring it back and down to so come back up forwards down Bring it all the way round. And as you do that, perhaps a nice opportunity to really stretch out through your back on that same side. Really tuck the hips under. Use your pelvic floor muscles all the way up towards your belly button and your low abs perhaps can really help control that movement. So you're using your abs, your waist, and you're really releasing out through your back as well. Nice, let's try the other side. I feel like this is quite an underutilized movement for lots of people. So you're gonna come back and up, twist through your waist as you bring that hip upwards, twist through your waist as you bring it down forwards. Try to keep your upper half still. We're gonna do that utilizing the anchoring technique. And we're gonna speak a little bit about the anchoring technique throughout our sessions. And how we can really get that to work very well for you. Really strengthening our technique, stylizing, finding a style that works for you and really helps you express yourself as a dancer. We're gonna have a lot of fun together exploring in more depth. And also, of course, looking at the cultural aspects. Belly dance so much today is, I regard it as a world dance, but of course, it does have some considered origins. Let's bring that into figure of eight. So here in our little tribe at Little Egypt and wherever our little tribe now happen to be across the world, we are absolutely 100% an inclusive community. Celebrating all things equally, all cultures, all genders, all choices, all freedoms. Let's. Come into shimmy now. So whatever flavor you connect with. <laughs> Woo! It's delicious. Here we go. the side. 
rise and the speed of that movement. You could try and layer on top of that a level change. It's there if you want it. Now, level change with this movement here is on a single leg. So you're literally sitting down in to that movement. So imagine you're sitting down. If I went to sit down over here, for example, I'm gonna sit down into the movement. On this side, I'm gonna sit down into the movement, back and down, rather than knees coming forwards, sitting back and down. So that's what we're doing there. Let's try. could layer that with some push-pull arms. So with the push-pull arm, it's literally looking like this. And as the hip comes out one side and then the other, so you can make that movement appear even bigger. You can accentuate the size of that movement with your arms. Other side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep it nice and soft through the arms. Really extend your wrist flexion into there. Nice. Let's make it really fast and small. One, two, one, two, other side. Nice transition from there is literally take that foot, lift your the heel slightly, just ever so slightly, shift your weight into the ball of the foot, and you can slide round, pivot on that ball of the foot and round onto the other side. Sit back and down into it. So much more elegant than coming forwards like this, and then <laughs> so you want to tuck and shift your weight back slightly. Hips come back. Let's try this side. Fast. A small one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes! <laughs> nice. And then coming into regular figure of eight in center. Oh wow, everybody joining us here in our live class. This looks gorgeous. It feels nice too, huh? Woo! And four, three, two, and one. Gently coming into center. Help yourself to a spot of hydration. That is so nice. So nice to just get moving. I find, I don't know about you, but if I have a break from dancing for like, even just one week, I feel the difference. And where I feel it most tends to be in at my waist. The flexibility of my waist and my spine really, really quickly goes. So it's really nice to come back into a brand new term of dancing, brand new course of dancing, by really opening up and releasing through there. And we've just done that in lots of the movements that we did just now. But I'd like to just take that a little bit further and give you a way of really increasing your flexibility through your waist and your spine itself. And through just these, let's just give you two right now. Very, <coughs> excuse me, this is not, <coughs> this is not a COVID cough, don't worry. <laughs> just, um, a little bit of atmospheric something. Let's say dust, maybe. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. And as we breathe out, let's come into center. We're gonna come all the way across to one side. Everybody is now doubting this. Everybody on line is now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get everybody who's like in this class live to vouch for me. This is not a COVID cough. <laughs> But even if it was, you know, this is the thing, like, I feel like, are we developing some sort of stigma towards, like, if somebody has a cough, is everybody like, oh my God, you're coughing. 
Like, what about those times when you just like accidentally choke yourself? You know those times. <laughs> you know those times. You know those times. I know you know those times. <laughs> and then you're like, oh my God, you guys, I'm literally just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally just one of those silly folk that chokes myself. Right, it's <laughs> coming to the I knew it was going to be a bit of a crazy one tonight. <laughs> Let's go on upwards. Here. What you can do is really pivot out of your hips with a nice bend to your knees. So you're going to bring your tailbone upwards, crown of the head down to the ground. Now, if you were here, you could use this to release through your hamstrings as well. But for now, we're focusing on really opening up through the spine, increasing spinal flexibility. So literally all you're going to do from here is very gradually, one vertebrae at a time, start to unwind again. So you're coming back upwards through your low back, your hips, your low back. Coming up through your mid back, now really, really focus on trying to feel each individual vertebrae, one after another, all the way upwards, realigning as you come up now perhaps towards your shoulders, and then your neck aligns, and then all the way to the crown of your head. See if that feels a little bit different to how it felt before you did that, but also how perhaps it feels different to when you didn't Maybe you did that stretch before, but you didn't actually bring the focus towards each individual vertebrae. So literally just bringing a bit of mindfulness towards that can be really an advantage. So let's here, we're gonna come into the side bend, bring it out to the side. So the benefit of these stretches here for any belly dancer, but any for human really, um, is you're increasing spinal well-being, the flexibility through your waist, also a little bit through your back, maybe through your abdominals. Let's bring that all the way back to center gently. But also the more that you do these stretches, the more that you can do movements with deeper effect. So you can have a deeper, much deeper range of motion when you come next back into doing a movement. Let's come back into center. So if you wanted to increase the depth of let's say you wanted to, let's take some of those figures of eights that we did a moment ago. If you wanted to increase your figure of eight, do that now, just do a few now. See if that feels different. See if perhaps you can make a bigger movement to what you could make a moment ago. And it, you'll find that it doesn't actually take that much to really positively, excuse me, to really positively impact the flexibility that you have and the more, more range that you have available. Here, let's just try drop one hip down to the ground and then the other side. So I suppose what we're talking about here is body conditioning for dancers. So this is like belly dance body conditioning. And of course, we go into elements of this and all sorts of other components of fitness in our belly dance for fitness class that is there on our playlist on youtube you can find that if you enjoy really the body conditioning and fitness aspects but i want to just bring a little element of that into our regular class and it'll make an appearance every now and then throughout the course just to really help you because it's no good just having all of the knowledge um, of how to work through the technique of a movement if you don't also have the knowledge and the understanding of how you're going to apply that, isn't it? You're gonna have the application of it. So that's what we're doing with that. So hopefully you feel already the difference from that and we're gonna add in a few extra stretches throughout um, the course for you as well. So if you feel it in your own time, use that as a warm up before you have a little bit of your own practice. All right, let's move on now. Help yourself to some hydration. Are you ready to begin? Elements of choreography. Elements of choreography. How does that sound to you? Oh, that sounds pretty good to me. Woo! <laughs> let's do it, let's do it, okay. So, if you haven't learned choreography with me before, I know that lots of you who are joining me live, you have. 
Um, if you haven't learned choreography with me before, let me just first of all dive in and express that I sometimes have what some people think is a roundabout kind of a way of teaching. So I don't always start at the beginning of a piece of music and okay, we're gonna work on segment um, count 0, 0.00 through to first 30 seconds of music and we're gonna learn that and learn that and then we're gonna do the next section and learn that. Because that's, that's fun, that's fun. But what that will do is it'll teach you how to recite that first 30 seconds of track, the next 30 seconds of track, the and it becomes a recital. It becomes a dance. Let's say you wanted to then perform it. It becomes one of those kind of, it can become one of those kind of, you watch the performance and it can be really, really beautiful and it can be quite powerful at times. But you can actually see and feel the dancer thinking about what's coming up next. It's a really passive way of learning and of performing. It does have its place, as everything does in life. So let's not discount it, and there, there are absolutely times where we will use that. My preference, however, is very much in giving you an experience that is learning of itself, that you can use parts of it in your own dancing. If you're in your kitchen and you're cooking and you've got the music on, you can do segments of these um, choreography sequences and they be stand alone. They're not just like, just this first 30 seconds or something. They are alive. And as a result of that, when you actually dance the piece, what you'll find is you'll probably find that the beginning of this learning will go from like, Okay, but I don't really, um, okay, but I don't really see how these dots join up yet. Mm, okay, um, well, yeah, I'm learning these bit, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're gonna be like, wow, I actually know an entire dance piece, and I didn't even realize that it was coming together. Like some of you ladies who've been in classes with me, I'm sure you will absolutely vouch for that experience where you're like, oh my God, I do know it after all. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I'm going to take you on a journey as we learn choreography. It's not just learning choreography, it's learning choreography. It's like learning choreography, learning choreography. <laughs> if you're new here, yes, I am nuts. <laughs> okay, own it guys, own it. <laughs> so we're going to be working with this piece right now. And the first sequence that we're gonna be doing, so one of the fundamental sequences in this piece that we're learning. <laughs> so what we're gonna work with we got a triplet combination so we got drop two three other side drop two three hip 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 drop two three drop two three one two three pause back two Three, pause. Okay, so we got one, two, three. Other side, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's a chasing triplet. We got lead side and the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. So what we're gonna do is really, really build on that. We're gonna refine and define that movement and we're gonna use it in combinations. And what you'll find is with this piece of music and multiple other pieces of music that carry deep, strong, Middle Eastern earthiness, they really, really call for that punctuation in your dance, that boom, 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 doom, tack, 
yeah? So we're going to enjoy building on this triplet. So what I want you to do, if you choose to, if you'd like a little bit of a challenge, play around with that triplet between now and whenever you do the next session after this. If this video is making it to YouTube, which I'm not sure if it's actually recording, but if it's making it to YouTube, that might be in five minutes time if you're binging. <laughs> We're all for that. So <laughs> what you're gonna do is drop, two, three, pause, drop, two, three, pause. I want you just to have a think about how might you work with variations of that? So you might make it bigger, you might make it smaller, you might make it faster, you might make it slower, you might play around with level changes, you might add something else on top. You might add something in the pause. So we got one, two, three, pause, one, two, three, pause. Because most Middle Eastern music has a four beat rhythm. It's a four, four rhythm. Talk to you more about that next session. Have fun with that for now. Let's come into center, deep breath in, lift upwards. As you breathe out, let's go into one of those side bends that we did, really release out. So not only is this wonderful for really deep body conditioning, it's also really great for a cool down for movements that you have done already. Let's take it on diagonal, bring it all the way into the front, and then we can enjoy releasing out one vertebrae at a time. Really bring your focus and your attention to each individual vertebrae as you come back upwards, aligning through your vertebrae. Notice any difference to the last time that you did that. Let's then take it across to the other side. You're gonna extend through your waist. Oh, I feel like I'm reaching further this time. Do you? <laughs> wow. Let's take that on diagonal. Ah, bring it all the way forwards and back upwards into center. You can enjoy a few more of those in your own time. Deep breath in, in your own time as you breathe out, place one hand on heart space, one hand down, sacred life force energy space down below your belly button. Breathe in here. Take a moment to notice how you feel now and if you're anything like me, how excited you feel for the sessions to come in this course. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's going to be amazing. And it already is. Do remember to let me know if there is anything you'd really, really like to focus in on this course, the next course, what are your real aims from these sessions? What would you like to receive for your body, for your mind, for your spirit, for your dance? Let me know. I'd be happy to help. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe and hit notifications so you can be informed of when the next video goes up. If you'd like to support the creation of these videos, remember you can head along to patreon.com forward slash little Egypt studio where you'll find a community of other enjoyers of these videos. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.